Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Fat Ninja Turtle, and today I'm gonna be doing a quick tutorial on the uh, multicolored flashes that I figured out finally, and it took a long time to figure it out. And uh, basically, it's just an expression that's confusing as hell. And here it is. Here is the expression that you're gonna need. I'm gonna have the I'm gonna have the code in the description. And I'll have a download link as well if uh, it doesn't work for you with like copy pasting it from the internet because sometimes it doesn't work. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to copy this. Control C. And I'm going to hop into After Effects. So uh, here is the edit I'm working on right now and it's pretty sweet. But I'm just going to make a new composition with a cinematic. So uh, let's use this one. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to import my song. So I'm just gonna import a song here, any random ass song. Music. Hmm. Okay, this one sounds good. Okay, it's a it's a screamo song, but it only gets screamo until like 40 seconds in, so it doesn't matter. Now I'm gonna hit LL just to see it, and I'm gonna drag it over to make it line up perfectly. Then what you can do if you would like to, you can type in bass and treble, and you can drag that onto your song. You can do it if you want to or if you don't, because if you don't, the keyframes, like the audio keyframes, will, will kind of be like, like settle, uh, settle, sorry. And if you uh, put the bass to 50 and the treble to negative 100, the keyframes will be like up, down, up, down, up, down. It'll be really like unsettled and that'll make for the flashes to have a nicer effect. So I'm going to actually do that. Then I'm going to right click on the layer, make keyframe assistant, convert audio to keyframes. Then I'm going to delete the bass and treble because you don't need it anymore. Then hit U. Now I'm going to delete the left channel, the right channel, and keep it like that. Then I'm going to go click on my slider, go to graph editor, and I'm going to find the keyframes that look reasonably like a suit, suit my song, whatever. So it kind of goes up and down a lot. So I think, like what I wanted it to do, I think if I do a 70 and a low one of like 25, that'll be good. So you don't need to alt click this at all. What you're gonna have to do is uh, make an adjustment layer. Call this Twitch. Twitch, and then type in effects and presets Twitch. Twitchy. Twitch, and then go down to Twitch where you find it. Double click, and it'll go on your adjustment layer. Then go to enable. You can enable whatever you like, but for this tutorial, I am doing color flashes. So I'm gonna enable color and light. Go to color. Make the randomize. Uh, at 100%. Go to light, make the light amount 70, and color amount, make it uh, 65. That's what I use. You can change it up if you would like to. Uh, then you leave it, and then just close it up. Then what you want to do is alt click on the slider and delete this. So you just get rid of that. And then control V. So I pasted my thing. Then these question marks, we're going to fill them in with our values that we wanted. So the low one I said was 25, I'm pretty sure. And the high one I said was about 70. Okay, then since we have this, uh, it's gonna have a dis disabled something because I'm not done. Since we have this um, connected to the speed, I want this to be, so I want this to be a uh, one. And the other one, I'd like it to be six. So when the notes get, like when it gets really fast, uh, sorry, really loud, the notes Oh, sorry, I'm trying to explain this because since the speed and the value of the like the base of the song are completely different things, it's kind of hard to explain. But I'm just gonna click out loud to trying to kind of say what I'm. Oh, whoopsie, to try to explain what I'm saying. Okay, so like when um, it gets louder, it gets faster most of the time, unless you have a bass drop that's really settled like this, like kind of like that. That's not a bass drop. But I'm just saying if it's settled like that. So if you have it uh, going fast when it's high, that's what you want. So uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna put one and six. You can change the six lower or higher. I found six is what works for me. Okay, then just get rid of that. Then I'm gonna duplicate the audio amplitude. I'm gonna rename this to amount. And I'm just gonna drag it underneath this audio amplitude. Then what I'm gonna do is alt click on the slider. And I'm type in linear value comma my your low amount and comma your high amount and then put uh, 50 and 150 so that's the I'm gonna link it to the amount of the twitch so 50 is the lowest amount 150 is the highest amount 
which is uh, reasonable. Then I'm gonna go to Twitch and I'm gonna alt click on the stopwatch for amount, drag it down to link to the slider, not the layer, the slider. Okay, then it's done. Then close it up and close it up. Okay, now as you can tell, we have it flashing and it get it's colorful, but like you can't really tell unless like there you can you can see it, but like you know it's not that evident. So what we can do to make it more evident is gonna drag on. I'll make a new adjustment layer called looks or CC, whatever you want to call it, and then drag on magic bolt looks, click edit, and I'm just going to drag on a preset, I'm not going to edit it right now, so trapped gold, that's uh, a nice looking one, just let it load, okay, so now I'm going to drag this underneath, oh that made a big difference, okay, I'm just going to drag it underneath, anyways, okay, so now when there's a flash, it affects it affects everything, but you notice it in the bright parts the most. So as you can tell, one second. So everything is brighter, but you can see it get orange here and like purpley there the most. And you like, you can uh, see it get purple everywhere if I turn the looks off. But with the looks, it just looks like it's brighter there. So yeah, it's pretty sweet. And I'm just gonna have a RAM preview of this at the beginning of the video. So yeah, that's how you do it. And uh, you can definitely change the uh, if I go on my Twitch layer you you can definitely change the uh, speed like when it gets loud to something faster so like as here you can see it just gets a tiny bit so I think I might change it to like eight that sounds good and yeah it's really cool and yeah because eight means it does eight twitches a second so here if this value was 70 if it stayed for a whole second it would do eight twitches in that second so yeah you can see the color flashes and you can actually uh Something I found out that you could do, it doesn't make too much of a difference, but if you're really picky, make a new adjustment layer, call this threshold. I don't know if I print, I don't know if I spelled that properly, but whatever, I'll just type it in thresh. Ah, uh, it's about close enough. Okay. Then I'm just gonna make it so it's only bright in the part like in the top area. Then I'm gonna mask out the top, like the top half of it. Then I'm gonna hit feather. Uh, whoopsies, feather, and I'm gonna make it 75. And you could actually use the ellipse tool, it would probably be better, but whatever. Okay, so I feathered that out. Now turn it off, go to uh, click F4 or toggle switches, and go on your Twitch and Luma map. So now it only gets brighter up there, so you can see it gets brighter there. You can adjust the feather quite a lot, so I'm actually gonna make it like 250 so now you can see that it's more subtle and yeah you see it gets bright like it looks like it gets bright everywhere but truly it only gets bright there so yeah you can do that and it looks really sweet so that's about it for the tutorial guys hope you enjoyed and um have a preview at the beginning and thank you guys for uh like 570 ish subs i want to get to 600 sometime soon and uh yeah so see you guys later bye